What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the what you don't see coming. What? <laughs> the general reading for somebody. Whoever I'm going to pull this for, you don't see something coming that I'm about to say in this reading. So yeah, because I know exactly what I'm doing. But there's something that you don't see coming, okay? Capricorn. Something that you don't see coming, boo-boo. All right. Interesting. Uncovering lost wisdom, hidden knowledge. Bro, you about to find something. We got to clarify now. Like, come on now. Come on now, spirit. <laughs> what is this, pearl? And uncovering lost hidden knowledge. This, okay, Page of Swords in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse, and the Tower. Someone's been spying on you. Someone's been watching you, and somebody wants to come back. Okay, I feel like you know exactly who this person is. Okay, and I feel like you're going to find out that there's something in their life that went so wrong. And when I mean so wrong, like completely like like there's something huge in their life that just collapsed like just i don't know why you need to know that why you care but it's here okay dang that sucks for that person okay all right anyway let's see capricorn i'm gonna pull two oracles with um and then we're gonna clarify and then ask for some advice towards the end a Capricorn, you know, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get on with it. Some of you guys, that could be like your ex-spouse or your ex, okay? Because I keep seeing marriage <clears throat> when I'm shuffling. Do, 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 do. So somebody's in jail. They might be getting out early. Okay. Let's see. Dang. Capricorn, bottom of the deck is sailors, not entanglement, energetic cords, tides, and bonds. You're about to break a cord with something yet that you have been, um, you've been entangled with this for a minute. Okay, you've been involved in this for a minute and it's time for you to let, ooh, you got five. Okay, Cap, I mean, since, since I pressed record, your, your reading has been interesting, so I'm not surprised. All right um let's begin here's about to be a long reading too okay so the first card you have is pirate ship here okay <sighs> set sail on a new adventure explore the horizon all right so i feel like the universe if you're heading towards something new that is the way you should be going community in reverse yeah because there's some people some friends that you gotta leave okay it's community in reverse you're around these people every day or very often and they don't have the best intentions for you could be at work could be in something like you know like a club or school what is this pirate ship and community in reverse for capricorn you have the two of cups here it could be a relationship or whatever this is you you have a lot of emotions for you have the star the justice in reverse and the six of cups okay so yeah, I feel the situation is unfair. I feel like once upon a time, this was your wish. Once upon a time, you wanted to be around these people. This was like your everything, your holy grail. Now, with the justice in reverse, you're seeing it's a very unfair situation. And it's like, all you want to do is like, be by yourself. Like, be with you. Heal yourself. Like, you want to get away from all of this. Two of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Because you're not getting what you're putting into this situation. But it is really hard for you to remove yourself from this. There's, you love this so much. Okay, it could be a Gemini. <clears throat> um, it, it really worries you here. Because you're just like... But it's like... Even though you love this person or this thing, I feel like you don't feel connected to it anymore. I feel like you have love for it, but you're not in love with it anymore. You know what I'm saying? With the Nine of Swords and the Hangman, it stresses you out because you're just like, okay, well, now I change, now I see this differently. So now what, right? Now there's a lot of happiness and I feel like you're fighting that happiness because you're just like, no, I, there's love here. This makes sense. But some of you guys have Virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with one. But there's just, there's just fear. There's a lot of fear here of allowing an ending to happen because you're going to you're going to be transformed. Could be a Scorpio. 
okay um into the into the person that you're meant to be that's why you're feeling this way like i just want to get away like i just want to that's kind of what i'm getting okay i don't feel like this is easy for you like i really freaking don't but it's time this could this could have been in, in your life um, since you were a kid or you have a lot of memories with whatever this is, okay? So I get it. Like, I feel the... It's resistance because you should be going in that direction. And you're kind of just like, mm, but you're being guided to, okay? You have octopus. Keep to yourself. Be discreet. So there's something you got to... You got to keep to yourself here. Courthouse. Okay. So if you're going through some type of um, court situation or some type of justice situation, especially with the cancer, like you got to keep that. You got to you got to keep that on a hush hush. Some of you guys could be getting married. Like go signing papers is kind of what I got. That was random. What is octopus and courthouse here? You have the three of pentacles, the bottom of the deck. Nine of pentacles in reverse, four of cups, and the judgment in reverse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some of you guys are really about to not be single anymore. You're about to do literally what I just said. You have the four of cups and the judgment in reverse. But what you don't see coming is that a decision is not going to be finalized. Mm. It's like somebody's going to back out last minute or something like that. Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Cups. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be just be like you finalize, you making a contract, you making something official, right? And somebody backs down. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, or Aries, Leo, Sag, or any Earth sign. It doesn't have to be though. Um, but I feel like this person was just like you're gonna see that they were just you know using you. I'll be honest with you. With the King of Cups in reverse, they were using how you felt about them to their advantage to make something work for them. But in reality, this was this was becoming too much for you and them. And you're pissed. Could be a Leo. Strength card here. You're pissed, bro. You're pissed. <sighs> you're being guided to kick this person to the curb or whatever this is. Like, kick it to the curb. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Be gone with it. <laughs> VIP. Drinks on me. All right. Anyway. <sighs> this is heavy, um, Capricorn. All right. So you have Submarine as the next card here. All right. Diving deep, unraveling the subconscious. All right. So you are trying to figure something out. Okay. Official person in reverse. Why somebody's being an a-hole. <laughs> It could be a boss, okay? Somebody who you report to every day. It could be a landlord, all right? Somebody who has officialness, all right? Nine of Wands, submarine and official person in reverse. You have the Queen of Swords in reverse. King of Wands in reverse with the Temperance here. So, um, yeah, you're pissed about something. And I feel like you've been trying to figure out something. You've been trying to find something out. And you, you've actually... I feel like you've, you've, you find yourself like in a battle is kind of what I'm getting. And I feel like the universe is saying, we don't want you to, we don't want you to look into this. We don't want you to try to do anything with this energy. We want you to move away from this energy. We want you to stop waiting for the shoe to drop or, you know, it's like, they want you to move forward. They want you to stop worrying about this person. Some of you guys have Scorpio on your chart. It's like you're trying to figure somebody out. They don't want you to do that. You're, you're, you, they want you to find balance within the situation by not, by, by finding balance within yourself. Also, like, F this person. Like, I feel like you're putting too much emphasis on this person. And the universe doesn't want you to do that. You could care about this person. This person could care about you. It could be a posse. Or they could have that in, the, in their chart. But uh, I don't feel like this is what you want anyway. So the universe is like, don't waste your energy here. Waste your energy on bringing balance to yourself, healing with the temperance. Okay. The next card you have is seahorse here. So be confident and assertive, divine masculine. 
you got to put your foot down in something. Bad health. This could be your health or someone else. Someone that you could be taking care of. <sighs> um, yeah, whoever this person is. Um, I feel like they're not doing what they got to do, man. They're not doing what they got to do. And the universe is, is giving you the baton. Like Capricorn. Please do something. <laughs> like, or is this bad health and seahorse? And I feel like you're the only one that could do this. But you're going to have to step into a role that you've never really stepped into. You know what I'm saying? You have Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Moon in reverse, and the Four of Wands in reverse. This could be a marriage. Someone that you're married to is not going so well. Okay, or someone you divorced from or someone who you've left already. And um, I feel like you see what's going on. You see beyond what this person can see. All right. And um, there's a new opportunity that they're that they're taking that I feel like isn't going to be good for them. I would say this is somebody else could be a cancer or the person that you're with that you're married to. I don't know. But um, I feel like you're going to know that this opportunity that they're going to take is not going to work out for them well when they get sick. Like they might get like a flu or, you know, whatever. And this that's going to be your indication. Like ding, ding, ding. You you cannot be where you're at. Where, wherever, whatever is going to happen to this person, they're going to be like in bed for a couple of days. Like they're going to be like really sick. This could be you, right? If you end up getting sick, um, you know, like a, like a flu or something where you have to call out of work or be in bed for a while, that just shows you that there's an opportunity that you shouldn't take. Okay. Um, and I feel like while you're resting and being in bed, you're going to be shown what you need to see. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah. There's someone here. The I, I don't know if it's you that's not ready or this the other person that's not ready. But it's like there's still some healing that needs to happen, some recovery. I feel like someone's going to get, um, you, you'll get better with the Ten of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, it's like the universe wanted you wanted to stop you from putting any more work into whatever this is. Wait, like it could be you or the other person, right? The higher film verse could be a Taurus, the high priestess, and the queen of swords in reverse. Your intuition is already telling you that something doesn't match your morals and your values here. But to you, you're like, well, it doesn't make sense. What do you mean, right? Um, I feel like you've had a lot of success in this energy, or maybe this person has. But what you don't see is that it's not, this is this has already ran its course. And I feel like it's caused a lot of delays. And I feel like you're not emotionally happy here. You know, I don't feel like it. if you really if you really think about it with ten of cups in reverse, I don't feel like you're emotionally happy. <sighs> All right. Okay, the next card you have is letter in a bottle here. So you're about to get a message. Your message has been received. Judication. Some of you guys are about to be called for jury duty. Okay. Um, whatever this is, some of you guys are about to be served some papers. Two. Um, there's also something that's being judged. Like, there's something that's being like, okay, what, what, what's going to happen here? Which way is this going to move? What is adjudication and letter in a bottle? But I have a feeling King of Cups, the Ten of Swords. Yeah. King of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Swords here. Whatever this is, um, I have a feeling you're going to have to end something. Strength card, the chariot. Yep, in order for you to move forward, um, I feel like you asked the universe for something, and the universe was like, of course, Capricorn, you can have whatever you like. I say you can have whatever you like. Yeah. But it's going to require you to to be strong enough to remove yourself from something that you, you felt like you were being stabbed in the back anyway, or that you felt like it literally put you down on the ground, like this guy here. That's the only way you're going to be moving forward and getting out of your head, okay? Your intuition is going to tell you that you're ready for this. You are ready for this. Um, don't allow the seriousness of the situation or how you're going to be guided to affect that. You're absolutely ready, all right? But like I said, whatever you're asking for, the universe is like, okay, yeah, sure. You know, but you're going to have to let go of this first. And you're going to be like, what? Hold up. <laughs> you know, let's, let's take that back. <laughs> so um, you're definitely ready. 
Okay, you're ready. So you got this. You absolutely got this, Capricorn. Okay. All right. What is this community? Community. <laughs> community in reverse and pirate ship here. For my Capricorns, letting go. Yes, baby. Let that ish go. It's going to transform you too. Like your life is going to change cycles. Yep. You're going to stop doing the same thing, hanging out with the same people. Like this, this cycle that you've been going through is going to stop now. Like I said, if you're if you're heading away from something towards something new, you're absolutely doing the right thing because yes, this is an unfair situation. These people with this community in reverse, like they don't have the best intentions for you. And the universe wants you to let them go. Okay? Where's this courthouse and octopus? You have high priestess of fire. It could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But yeah, I feel like there's a lot of passion with um this person that you're going to elope with <laughs> um i also feel like rigid yeah i also feel like it's not happening because even though there's a lot of passion there's a lot of fire that's really all all of all of that all that there is i don't feel there's there isn't a solidarity there isn't that like oomph that you like to feel capricorn as an earth sign that stability feeling that safe feeling i don't feel like you feel that and that's why this is happening okay Love. Yeah, the universe wants you to choose yourself. Get out of your head. All right. Where is the official person in reverse and submarine? What is... You have invisible here. So, yeah, for the universe wants you to act like... They want you to act like nothing is even happening. Okay, you have listening. Yep, just listen. That's it. Just listen, be invisible, literally, and just listen, trapped. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you, this person's going to tell on themselves. This person's going to tell on themselves. They got a lot more going on than what you think, okay? What is bad health and seahorse? <clears throat> you have high priestess of air here. So, whoo, that scared me. <laughs> um i feel like you're in your head about this or this person is in their head about this you have the playful energy someone's not taking something serious that's why you need to put your foot down and be like listen linda movement y you gotta get out of here okay or you're not taking this serious take it how it resonates all right all right what is this adjudication and letter in a bottle letter in a bottle you have chaos. Yeah. I feel like if you resist, this is what's going to happen. Because the universe is like gonna guide you here. Complicated. Yep. You're gonna make things a lot more difficult um, than you need to, Cap. So I would just kind of go with the flow. I get it. I don't know. I'm not clarifying, so I don't know what about this is. I feel like it's intimidating or this could be the, the situation that we've, that we've been talking about for the past two months, right? Three, I think where you're going to have to kind of like downsize for a little bit in order for you to get the big reveal. So if that's what this is, just accept it, all right? Because with the chaos, I feel like it'll get worse if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Because you know it's gonna push you to move forward no matter what, all right? All right, Capricorns, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.